Welcome to the video series, Affordable Walkable Cities. Join me as we check out Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Before I convince you to move to Milwaukee, this will be the first of many videos highlighting cities that are just plain underrated. What actually qualifies as affordable? We'll simply be looking at cities with average or below average rent according to Zumper.com and at or below the median home sales price according to Redfin.com. What qualifies as walkable? The entire city doesn't have to be walkable since that's kind of unrealistic, but they at least need a few neighborhoods that are walkable, bikeable, and have good access to transit. The goal is to find an area within the city that you can basically live car free. So if you've been asking yourself lately, where should I live? Allow me to share why you should consider Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In 2018, Vogue magazine crowned Milwaukee as the coolest and most underrated city. Andy Noble, a restaurant owner, said, quote, the cost of living versus the caliber of cultural activities is off the scales, and the city is so diverse. There's a large mix of Mexican, Southeast Asian, Indian, and African American populations. And I think that keeps our dining, music, and cultural options more varied and on par with many larger cities." Unquote. Milwaukee has the highest percentage of duplexes out of any city in the United States, by far with a whopping 24% of all housing. And the national average is only 3.5%. Something to note is Milwaukee's desirable areas are fairly well interconnected. And that's not always the case in other cities. The benefit of being connected really can't be understated. One of the great benefits is the modest bus system can be much more effective. So let's jump right into the neighborhoods and how they provide excellent walkability, bikeability, and access to transit. So we're gonna start off on the east side. And the east side is you know, usually the number one recommendation for anyone, maybe on the younger side of 40, and who also wants a walkable neighborhood that contains affordable options and you know some newer high-end options as well. It is fairly densely populated with the best combination of transit, bike infrastructure, and a phenomenal you know, location within the city. The Upper East Side has a large student population, obviously, uh, right there next to the university with many apartments and house flats, uh, but also a good amount of upscale single family homes and established families. And if we head south closer to downtown, we end up in the Lower East Side, which offers you know, more new apartment buildings with a nice mix of classic older buildings and house flats. It's home to a lot of young professionals with plenty of coffee shops, multiple grocery options, and a nice mix of restaurants and bars. Pfizer Forum, home of the Milwaukee Bucks, is just across the Milwaukee River from the Lower East Side. If you're a hoop fan, you have easy access to the lakefront and the hop, which is a modern fixed transit network that further enhances Milwaukee's cool factor. Can't forget about the Brady Street Strip, which is a major hub for having a good time. And it's historically home of you know Milwaukee's Italian population. From the Lower East Side, we're gonna head south again, past downtown to Walker's Point. Walker's Point is surely becoming the it neighborhood because of its prime location. It's been the longtime hub of Milwaukee's LGBTQ community and is now widely known as a hotbed for foodies and artists. You'll find a good selection of nightlife alongside award-winning restaurants. Most of Walker Point's activity is focused along 2nd Street, but 5th Street is quickly becoming another hotspot for the area. And again, this neighborhood has a prime location close to downtown, close to the lake, with a good mix of housing options. Although it is rapidly changing, you know, lots of recently built apartments and warehouse conversions, and there's several more big development projects in the works. And then from Walker's Point, we'll head to Bayview, which is just a bit further south on Lake Michigan. Bayview is a walkable neighborhood, popular with young families and young professionals. It hosts a thriving farmer's market and one of the city's most popular weekly concert series. You'll find plenty of opportunities to get outdoors, whether it be the trails on the lakefront, beer gardens, or at neighborhood parks. Bayview boasts a variety of great music venues, coffee shops, craft beer, and dining. You can definitely find some great apartments or homes in this, I would call it, dense suburban feel neighborhood. There's a reason why I chose Milwaukee, Wisconsin as the first city in this series. I only highlighted three walkable areas, but there's actually several more like the historic Third Ward, Riverview, Washington Heights. If you can stomach the winters 
Milwaukee just might be the very best bang for your buck in America.